I guess talk about the big thing, you know, uh, dismissing Mark Speakers from the program? Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, but, you know, we have certain standards and operating procedures, and uh, we're trying to do something special here. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. And like you said, we wish him the best. And uh, it's always a hard thing. It really is. Worst part of the job, without question. And, uh, you know, without that being said, you know, that's that's really it. I mean, that, that's in a nutshell. I mean, I know everybody wants details and all those things. And, you know, we don't go there. We can't go there. Uh, but like I said, we wish him the best. And it's uh, it's hard and painful. In Christian. general, did you feel like you gave him opportunities to kind of get back on track? Yeah, or? it's never one thing. You know, I mean, it's not going to – we're not going to get – dismiss a guy because it's one thing. I mean, that's not what we're in this business about. But when you just feel like this can't work, you gotta you got to do what you got to do. Chris, you've talked about changing culture. Is this a teachable moment for the rest of the guys in the program? Well, you know, you hope so. Um, you know, we're just trying to do things the best we can and treat each other correctly and be the best team that we can be. And um, I hope everybody feels that. And I hope we're better as we move forward. This is sort of a pseudo sun, they all are. That's a tough decision, as you said. What mechanism is in place for the future of the guy that's no longer with your program? Yeah, and so we want him to get his education, without question. Um, we want to help him, you know, move on and be positive from here. And so we'll do whatever we can to, to help that happen. Do you typically you continue someone's scholarship when they've been dismissed? Yeah, certainly through this year. And we, and if we can help a guy graduate. There's no question. I mean, that that's first and foremost why most guys should be coming to this place. And so for a guy to, to get his degree, uh, there's no doubt we're going to try to do whatever we can do to make that happen, if they want that. Chris, what's his reaction? You know, um, don't get into details, all that. I don't think anybody was, you know, on either side, you know, happy with the whole situation. What's uh, the depth like in your secondary? How has that uh, been evolving, the growth of that young group? Yeah. So, you know, it's all, all year we've had young guys, and uh, they've been getting better and progressing and really staying focused and working hard. And, uh, you know, you, you, you're not necessarily preparing for something like this, but you always need depth as the year goes on. It's usually injury-related and all those things, and the kids have been out there working and really – have really progressed, and we're excited to see him play. Is John Ross now part of that group, and how can he help you over there? Well, he John Ross has been working, you know, some defense this week, and uh, you know, a little bit like Shaq, we figure out where we think he can best help the team, and we'll just keep, uh, you know, analyzing each game and each week, and you know, it's really, it's really about, you know, not only I mean, some of these guys are so talented that where can they help the team best, but also where can we help them best. And it's a combination of those two things. And I think John's one of those guys who's got some unique skills. Are there signs from what Justin Wilcox told you before he left that John might be yeah. the most talented corner out there? Well, we know he's talented. And uh, you can see it on tape from last year. And, you know, even in the springtime, I think we, I think Coach Lake put him over there to cover some guys one-on-one -on -one and those type of things. And so you can see he's got some really uh, tools that he's been blessed with. And... Uh, you know, just anxious to see the progress. Well, how far has Nigel Hale come? I think Nigel's done a nice job all along. Um, every time we put him into the game, he's competed very well at a very high level. And, you know, proud of him for, you know, this deep into the season. He's a true freshman. Very easy to go, well, there's guys in front of me, there's guys ahead of me. And you haven't felt that one time from him. Will he slide into the starting role then? Yeah, so Nigel, Nigel will start there. Chris, when something happens like this in season, do you feel like you have to explain it to the team or do you feel like they understand? I, I always explain it to the team. I always talk to our team all along. I try to talk to them as much as I can and, you know, we're all in this together and, you know, don't want to, uh, you know, and hopefully they understand. And, uh, but we always talk to them. How, how is the team, you know, getting ready here for the game Saturday against UCLA? Yeah. Yeah. And so there's always so many distractions, and, you, you know, you're just trying to stay focused on the game. That's part of part of the game, part of life. And um, But we really practiced well this week. Um, you know, we got a heck of an opponent, so hopefully that, that will translate. But the kids have prepared hard, and they prepared well. You spoke Monday about needing to put together a full – games effort and do you see the team kind of being close I mean it's just practice but yeah are you seeing the team or what you need to see from the team to do that 
like I said, I mean, I think I think practice was good this week, and so, um, and sometimes practice isn't like the game, and sometimes the game's not like practice. That's always a hard thing to figure out. But all you can do is start with practice, try to take care of your responsibilities, make sure your mind is right and ready to go compete hard. And you know, I think they are. Assuming Marcus declares for the draft, I mean, obviously you're going to get calls from personnel people and all yeah. that. You willing to help him out in that way, put in a good word? A absolutely. I mean, Marcus has got a lot of skill, and I, I really do hope that he has a you know a really good NFL career. Uh, there's no doubt about that, and I think he can. And uh, we wish him you know a lot of luck going that direction. Would you say this decision was more for the team or for him? Well, I think it's always about the team, um, and you know, hopefully in the long run, certain you know we all benefit somehow some way but these things are never easy and it's it's never uh, you know you think at the time uh, how's this benefit anybody but for me there's just a lot of guys involved when you you know in charge of a team and 100 guys and all those things and it's like what is best for us to do what we want to do like I said I mean we're all trying to do something special and it takes all everybody in and everybody rolling the same direction and uh, you know that's hard to get done and so um, Hopefully we can move forward. You've been asked about Shaq every which way, I think, the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, you know, when you go into the end of the week like this, it sounds like it, you know, collaborate with the other coaches, but yeah. it kind of falls on you to decide in general kind of he's going to be more of an offensive guy, more of a defensive yeah. guy. I mean, what goes into that, particularly in a week like this? Well, I think every week's the same. You know, we're just trying to figure out where the best, you know, comes back to the team all the time with that individual in mind. I mean, especially with Shaq being, you know, such a special guy, we're not trying to hurt him in any stretch of the way, and I don't think we do. And, um, you know, so, um, you know, it's hard. We balance things out. We talk about what we're trying to get done and uh, keep Shaq in the loop and see where he's at, and he's been awesome about it. And so I'm excited to see him play a hard-fought game this weekend. How has he held up the last couple weeks after getting all the carries and taking more hits? And yeah, and good. so that's a tough position to play, but he's, you know, knock on wood, he's, he's been – uh, really good, and you know he's such a physical guy, and you know built for this game in a lot of ways. And we just hopefully keep our fingers crossed. How did Coleman and Washington come through the week, and uh, can we expect to see more of that? Yeah, and those guys, like I, said, I mean, la last week we thought both those guys could play, and they could have, um, but we got you know Coop and, and Shaq going. Um, both those guys, again, we don't really tackle our running backs in practice, but they're playing as fast as they play in a long time. How's the offensive line looking? They're doing, they're doing well. I mean, we, uh, you know, at this point in the season, you're not going to see these like humongous jumps. It's just little things, attention to detail, and I think, uh, I think they've had a good week. Is it? Thanks, everybody.